So Joe Biden's message has been to the Haley voters, come over, there's room for you in this tent. Donald Trump's message was to attack Nikki Haley. You spent last night at uh, Mar-a-Lago at the, the <laughs> Trump after party. Yeah. How do you think, besides the immediate attack on her, how do you think the Trump team's going to play this? I mean, they're coming off obviously confident to the press. They think that they're actually Republicans and that at the end of the day, they will vote down the, the ballot from top to bottom Republican. And in a few months, they will forget all about this. I think that a lot of these primary voters came out to send a message, right? Like they were going out in a primary, which not a lot of voters do, but they were doing it in protest to Trump in the same way that you had the uncommitted going out in protest to Joe what's Biden. What's the message? The message is that we don't like this vision of the GOP, but I don't know that they are necessarily all of them going to go with Donald Trump. I mean, even if you look at the polling, it says like more than 50 percent of them say they'll vote for Donald Trump, even though they voted for Nikki Haley. And then like 12 percent still don't know what they're doing right now. I mean, this, listen, this is all like anecdotal early polling. We still don't know for a fact. But more than half of them are saying that they're still Republicans and they're more likely to vote for Trump than than Joe Biden and 12 percent still don't know what they're going to do, maybe 30 percent. But this is also just a small margin. I mean, these are primary voters. Not a lot of people go out and vote in primaries.